Greetings. This one is for all those who don't believe in evolution, perhaps particularly those that do believe in capitalism, at least the ideal of capitalism. Let's start with the common, commonly heard misconception that we can't see evolution, thus it doesn't happen. First of all, I would argue that you can see evolution in breeding for specific traits. Dogs, horses, any animal where those that breed them are clearly going for specific traits, they're clearly mating, let's say, the biggest one with the one that has the nicest fur, you know, they're breeding for specific traits, and it works. So, that right there is a pretty direct visual confirmation of the theory of evolution. In general, I think the idea that we can't see it, in some cases, this is true. That's because we personally, if that's even possible to say, that's because one person doesn't live long enough to see evolution in both, well, all three stages, you know, before, during, and after of at least many animals. I'm not an expert on zoology, so... Anyway, I suppose this would be easier if I got a bit drastic and went for some visual aids other than my hands. Because my graphic abilities on electronic media What's the technical term? Suck. I've decided to instead use practical means. So, if you'll excuse me, I have to turn your eyes downward. There we go. I suppose an easy way to look at the whole can't see evolution in a lifetime thing is like, you know, those cameras that you can get for your children, not actual cameras, but you click the button on top and inside there are, I don't know, half a dozen different preset images and it'll just go to the next one. It's kind of like that. This is evolution. And that's my... no. Up here, we have where it starts out, then it needs to change, and it changes over time. The problem is, a lifetime is maybe here to here. Can you see that on the... yeah, sort of. This, so... You don't see the start, you don't see the end. This is an example of evolution in progress. You don't see where it was, you don't see where it's... You don't see where it gets to be, you just see part of the progress. And thus, some people demand that that must mean that it's not actually happening because they can't see it in their own lifetime. I'm not going to go into all the many, many fossils that have been found that prove it because I'm not an expert and a lot of people go into that on videos here on the site, in videos here on the site, much, much better. I would suggest looking up someone like Aaron Raw. He definitely knows what he's talking about, as if I would really know. He... anyway.
this is of course going by the idea that nothing particularly drastic happens as far as environmental changes. Let's say an animal survives in the rainforest and we cut down rainforest and thus this particular animal gradually loses its food supply. Perhaps it evolves more rapidly to survive so that it may conserve its food supply better, for example. Or if the climate very suddenly changes, it may have to swim further, survive colder temperatures, hotter temperatures, but otherwise it may go relatively slowly. And then there's the fact that evolution, the theory of evolution, the scientific theory of evolution, and the ideal of capitalism really aren't all that different. Let's see. In order you have the means. The means which in the case of an animal is its gene pool and in the case of a business is its funds, what it can afford to spend putting a product out there. Then you have a random factor and and this factor is you know, in capitalism, this would be like the invisible hand that of the market. Or, yeah, I think that's the most appropriate analogy. And then you have a third. Yes, it's geometry class. And this is like in the market, it's demand, it's what they want, and this helps shape the product, helps determine which variant of the product. Let's say 10 companies are making essentially the same product. You know, demand might fine-tune the aspects of this product. And in evolution, it's natural selection. And the go together so you can see and thus a life form evolves to optimally take advantage of its environment to live without killing what it needs to survive off of without dying at the hands of predators and just in general survivability and in the marketplace this is how a product goes out there and survives how a business survives you can use that for the product or the business you know you could say that demand makes the business brand itself in that certain way but yes I am um, I don't have a college degree. I suppose what I have is around the level of high school education. So if there are any college level educated people watching this video, if I'm completely way off base on something here, please let me know. I would hate to be spreading disinformation. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm fighting, so this is my perception of it. Correct me if it is incorrect. That's it for this one. Yes, I'm gonna finish in this awkward position. Hope I proved something. Hope I made you think. Yeah.
that's it for this one. Goodbye.